So, as I was in the process of making this video for my new Rinochan board V2, Bandai announced an official Rinochan board with lights and sounds. As of the publishing of this video, there are few details as to the features, specifications, price, and availability of the official auto emotion convert Rinochan board by Bandai. But I would still recommend buying the official product, if it's available, due to the difficulty involved in creating my version. For the sake of time, this video will be uploaded in two parts. This first part will be a time-lapse build montage, and an overview of the board's features. Part 2, which will be completed and uploaded soon, will be an in-depth, step-by-step build tutorial. The 3D model STLs and Arduino code will be available for free once Part 2 is uploaded. So with that out of the way, rev up that royalty-free music because it's time for a montage. So a lot of these parts should not be printed on a belt printer, just stick with something like an Ender 3. So, this version of the Rinochan board can be disassembled, and it has an adjustable headband for heads of various sizes. So, uh, visibility is through these top holes. Uh, by itself, it will just uh, default to the magenta color and randomly scroll through some various expressions. Switches on the left over here, battery is here, on the right side is the microcontroller and it also has these hidden buttons here. Pressing up on this hidden button will go into camera mode. The face will no longer blink so that people don't get you mid-blink because that's happened before. <laughs> and it also will change the face to a default that you can set in the app which I will demonstrate shortly. If you hold the if you hold the flower in the left or the right it will also hold uh, an expression that you can set yourself. Is that too bright to see? The app is uh, remote XY. You will need the pro version to be able to use it for more than 30 seconds at a time. When the board is on press the plus Bluetooth BLE. Look for the Rinochan board. And select that, and you'll see the app. Uh, when you're using the app, you might have noticed that my face glitched out for a bit. The microcontroller is prone to glitching while the app is being used. There wasn't anything I can do about that for now. 
But anyway, uh, you'll see several pages here of, the, of expressions. Most of these are just placeholders. So you can choose any expression here on the app and it will immediately switch to that. You can turn blinking on and off. can change the color of the face. You can change the color of the the background, which is a little can be a little glitchy. And a little hard to see, so usually I just turn that off. And you can change the brightness. Enter some text to display. Text will be displayed in two lines of five each. If you use really long text, it will scroll. There's some backgrounds. In the lower left hand corner, we can check what the preset expressions we set on the side buttons do. So it says right now up is happy, we can select something else like, let's say we want to have an evil smile. Go back to random, blah, blah, blah and press the smile button. Now it's going as an evil smile. If you change a preset, it will remember it for the next time you turn the board on again. The left and the right buttons will keep their expression for as long as you hold it. So save the expressions that you want to use frequently. Yeah, that is the app. Now let's go over the disassembly process. First, take off the headband. Next, unscrew the sides from the front. I recommend buying actual M3 thumb screws rather than these 3D printed ones. Unplug the sides from the front LED panel. Fold in the side hinges. And you're done. Now it should be easier to pack. Just be careful that you don't crush the front panel. To charge the board's battery, be sure to plug the USB-C cable into the left side. That's the one with the switch where the battery is. The red light will turn on when it's charging, it will turn blue when it's done charging. You'll want to make sure that either the switch is off or the battery side is disconnected from the rest of the board while charging. The USB-C port on the right side is for the microcontroller. Use this to update and rewrite the microcontroller's code. If your battery is depleted and you would still like to use the board immediately without having to wait to charge, you can plug the right side into an external battery pack and it will still work, running off of the external battery rather than charging or using the left side. And that's the end of part one. If, after viewing that chaotic montage, you're still confident enough that you would like to build your own Renatron board, Miracle stay tuned for part two where I give you a full build tutorial.